Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will see how to find out the area of a triangle formed by three sides. We have been given the equations of the three sides. We have to find out the area of the triangle. So what will be our approach? First, we will try to find out by solving these simultaneous linear equations. We will try to find out the vertices of A, B, C, A, B and C respectively. Once we know the vertices A, B, C, we can apply the area of triangle formula that is half into sigma x1 into y2 minus y3 to find out the area. So the step one will be to find out the vertices A, B and C. So first let's try to find out. Let us take A, B and B, C. You can use any of the methods to find out the vertices. You can use cross multiplication method. You can use substitution method or you can use elimination method. Elimination method is what generally I use. So I'll go ahead with elimination method and try to solve this so that we can find out the vertices B, C and A respectively. First, let's write down the equation. A, B equation is 6x minus 7y plus 38 equal to 0. B, C equation is x plus 3y minus 2 is equal to 0. Now we want to solve this by elimination method. You know as part of elimination method we have to eliminate one variable. So here I see it is easy to eliminate x because if I multiply second one with 6 then x value x variable I can eliminate and I can find out the values of y. So let me go ahead I will write down them again this time I will multiply the second one with 6. So 6x minus 7y plus 38 equal to 0 and when you multiply with 6 second equation will become 6x plus 18y minus 12 is equal to 0. Now we want to subtract them so that we can eliminate y so this will become minus this will become minus and this will become plus 6x 6x will cancel I will have minus 25y plus 50 is equal to 0 which means minus 25y equal to minus 50 or y equal to 2. So we know that vertices coordinates of B are where y coordinate is 2 we have to find out x coordinate for that we leverage that equation x plus 3 y 3 into 2 minus 2 equal to 0 that means x plus 6 minus 2 equal to 0 that means x equal to minus 4. So we got x equal to minus 4 y equal to 2. The equations we have taken are a b and b c. a b and b c if you solve them which is common to a b and b c point b. So the coordinates of point b are we will write down minus 4 comma 2. Now let us take BC and CA and try to find out the coordinates of C now. Equation of BC, we will write down. Equation of BC is x plus 3y minus 2 equal to 0. Equation of AC or CA is equal to 9x plus 2y minus 43 equal to 0. Again, I want to use elimination method. So I want to eliminate either y variable or x variable. If I go with x, if I multiply the first equation by 9, then I can eliminate x value. Otherwise, you can multiply the first equation with 2 and the second equation with 3 so that you can eliminate the y value also. So let's go ahead and first eliminate this. For that, what I will do? First equation, I'll write down and I'll multiply with 9. 9x plus 27y minus 54 is equal to 0 and also 9x plus 2y minus 43 this is 18 right 9 twos are 18 minus 43 is equal to 0 now let's subtract them 
when we subtract 9x 9x will cancel this will be 25y minus will become plus so plus 25 is equal to 0 or can I say 25y equal to minus 25 or y equal to minus 1 once we got y equal to minus 1 we can find out the x value again we will go back x plus to the first equation x plus 3 into y 3 into minus 1 minus 2 is equal to 0 or can I say x minus 3 minus 2 equal to 0 or x is equal to 5. So 5 comma minus 1 are the coordinates of c. So let us write down 5 comma minus 1 for c. 5 comma minus 1 okay now let's go to a now to go to a i have to do a b and a c so let's solve that a b equation is 6 x i'll write down 6 x minus 7 y plus 38 equal to 0 and a c equation is 9 x plus 2y minus 43 equal to 0. I want to eliminate x variable. So what I will do? I will multiply the first equation with 3 and the second equation with 2 and I will subtract them. When I subtract them, x will be cancelling. So let us write down that. When we multiply with 3, first equation will become 6 into 3, 18x minus 21y plus 3 into 38 is 114 equal to 0. Now let us take the second one. We have to multiply that with 2. It will become 18x. 2 into 2y that is 4y. 2 into minus 43 that is minus 86 equal to 0. Now we will subtract that. xx will cancel. 4y will become negative. 86 will become positive. I will have minus 25y plus 200 is equal to 0. Can I write it as minus 25y equal to minus 200 or y equal to 8. Once I get y equal to 8, I can go back and substitute in the first equation. 6 into x minus 7 into 8 plus 38 equal to 0 nothing but 6x minus 56 plus 38 equal to 0 which is nothing but 6x minus 18 is equal to 0 or 6x equal to 18 or x equal to 3. So we know x equal to 3 and y equal to 8 for a. So now we got a, b, c coordinates. Now we can go ahead and substitute. So basically this problem is combination of <laughs> linear equation, pardon me, linear equation in two variables and the, so that you can find out the vertices. Then we go to coordinate geometry to find out the area. So now once we know the coordinates, let's apply the formula and find out the area. Let's write down the coordinates. A is A is 3 comma 8, B is minus 4 comma 2, C is 5 comma minus 1. Now once we know A, B, C, let us write them down. We will take as x1, y1, x2, y2 so that easy for us. x1, this is my x1, y1, x2, y2 and this is x3, y3. What is the formula? area is equal to half into modulus of absolute value I have to take x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. How I can remember that? 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2 pattern is 1 2 3 2 3 1 3 1 2 x1 into y2 minus y3 x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 now let's go ahead and substitute the values we'll go back and substitute the values 
equal to half into x1 that is nothing but 3 into y1 y2 minus y3 that is nothing but 2 minus of minus 1 can I write down 2 plus 1 afterwards plus x2 that is nothing but minus 4 into y3 minus y1 that is minus 1 minus 8 after that we have plus x3 that is plus 5 into y1 minus y2 that is nothing but 8 minus 2 now let's simplify this this is equal to half into 3 into 3 is 9 4 into minus 1 minus 8 is minus 9 minus 9 into minus 4 is 36 8 minus 2 is 6 6 into 5 is 30 so that's equal to half into 75 which is equal to 37.5 square units if we know centimeter it's centimeter otherwise it's square units so that's how we can find out the area of a triangle given the sides so what we have to do two steps first step we have to take two simultaneous equations at a time a b b c if i take i'll get b b c c a if i take If I take AB and BC, I will be getting B. Then I take BC and CA, I will be getting C. Then I will take AB and AC, I will be getting A coordinate. So A coordinates. Once I get ABC coordinates, then we know the area formula. Area formula is half into x1 y2 into sigma x1 into y2 minus y3. We have substituted the values x1 y1, x2 y2, x3 y3 in the formula. Just a little bit of simplification we got the area 37.5 square units so that's one example related to how to find out the area of a triangle it's a combination of linear equation in two variables and coordinate geometry straight lines where we know how to find out the area of a triangle